Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today, I show you my latest find. It's the LEGO set 6490 Amazon Crossing from 1997. I will also tell you a fun fact about this plume that also belongs to this set. So keep watching the video. In 1997 a lot of new sets were launched. For example also a completely new theme around diving. The Outback sub-theme was also new at the time. That theme consists of five different sets, of which Amazon Crossing is one of them. Not a large set, only 117 parts, but there is still something nice to tell about it. Let's take a look at the box first. That one looks particularly good. At first glance, it even looks like it's still sealed. On the side is the original price label, not very nice in itself, but better than tearing it off, which would give an even worse result. The other side was never even opened. Nice. Let's see if the rest is also in such a beautiful condition. The manual also looks good. I do notice that there is some sort of crease here. It looks like a pre-made fold, with the intention of folding the manual. Otherwise clean condition, no stains or tears. Don't forget, despite the fact that this is a more recent set, it is already 26 years old. Now the parts. What immediately strikes me is the use of a lot of colorful accents. The basis for this Outback set is of course gray, black and brown, but I also see red, yellow, green, white and blue. Actually all basic colors are present in this set. And what is also nice is this plate. There are two in this set. At first glance it seems to be a bit discolored white, but it was a new color at the time. Let's build the set. Actually, there are two major parts you can build in this set. On the one hand a kind of creek with rocks and a ladder construction. On the other hand, a yellow jeep with lots of accessories to catch a crocodile. After half an hour of building I have this beautiful result. The crocodile is definitely also a nice eye-catcher in this set. It consists of three parts. Two parts of it, the head and the tail, were already introduced in the Dragon Knights theme in 1993. The body of the crocodile was not produced until 1994, so the crocodile could only be found in various sets from then on. There is also a grey parrot in this set. Maybe there are some negative things to say about this set, but I can't find any right away. I think it's a nice set. Maybe a little too small, but even though this set only contains 117 parts, it still feels like you have more parts. The original price was 20 euros retail, so you actually got a lot for that money. A fun new sub-theme, nice colors, a beautiful vehicle, lots of accessories, animals, and a unique minifig. Yes, that's true, because the combination of green trousers, a green vest, face with sunglasses, and a red cap can only be found in this set. So the minifig in this combination is unique. I also think that you have to see this set in a larger hole in combination with other sets. For example Rocky River Retreat, of which I previously posted a nice review on my channel. If I have to find a negative point, it is mainly the name of the set. Amazon Crossing, referring to the Amazon area in South America. While the sub-theme of this set is Outback. Outback is indeed used to indicate the regions that are far beyond civilization, but in Australia. 
In the UK this set is called Crocodile Creek, which I think is a much better name, because the story behind the set is about a crocodile hunter who wants to catch a crocodile. By the way, there are still a lot of nice alternative buildings on the box. For example, another way to build the truck so that the caught crocodile can be transported. Finally, I can tell you something cool about this plume. It is not pictured anywhere on the box, but it still belongs to this set. The two cattle horns and one plume were stuck together in a plastic ring. I suspect this will have to do with certain production costs. But that meant that there was an extra part in the set that you didn't actually need. In the end, you only needed the cow horns for this set, and the plume often got lost. This set is almost always offered secondhand without the plume, because many collectors don't even know that this is supposed to be in the set. But you will find it on an official inventory list. So collectors beware, if you want a 100% complete set, then this plume must be included. These are the nice touches that I personally love as a collector, and make collecting and gathering information about certain sets so much fun. This set certainly deserves a nice place in my collection. Because of the very nice condition. The rare, exciting and original theme that only consists of five sets. And especially the variation of parts and colorful accents. Feel free to comment at the bottom of this video and also like and subscribe. It's completely free. Until the next video.